Moving projects between different artists or locations can often be a pain in the neck, but the good news is DaVinci Resolve has a tool which simplifies this process. A while back, we talked about how to do this in Premiere, and you can find that link in the description, but I love DaVinci Resolve's media management feature because it's even better than Premiere. The way you find it is you go up to File and then Media Management. So you'll notice that there are three categories up top, entire project, timelines, or clips. Now, usually when I think of passing off an entire project, I think of something like an editor and assistant editor relationship, where you want that assistant editor to have every single file that you have access to in all the timelines. So if that's your case, the entire project can be a good call. Now, timelines is what I find myself most often using because uh, as a colorist, I'm often receiving the final locked edit from the editor. So what's great is under timelines, we don't have to say, hey, send the colorist every single file we've shot in production. Just say, hey, you know, this timeline is the only timeline that you need to be concerned about. We're going to get you that information. The final tab is clips. And the way clips work is you could just select a bunch of clips in the timeline. Uh, this would also work in the uh, media pool over here. And when you go back into media management under clips, you can say use the selected clips in the media pool or uh, the timeline clips. So that works really well. I don't find that I use the clips tab very often, but I have heard people find it useful for specific archival purposes. Most of the time, the timeline tabs is the way to go. The next thing you have to figure out is whether you want to copy the files or transcode them, if you see these two tabs up top. As a colorist, most of the time I prefer working with source files, so copy is the correct choice. From there, specify where you want the files to be copied to and then select the timeline you want copied over. Below that, you're presented with two options. Copy the used media or the used media and trim keeping a certain number of specified handles. If you're not familiar with the idea of frame handles, frame handles is just basically when you edit a clip down, how much extra footage are you gonna be sending? So let's say if this clip is 10 seconds long, do you wanna be sending them any additional footage on either side of the edit? Here's why this is so cool. Let's say you filmed a project in Red Raw. That's not the only format that works. There's a bunch of supported formats out there. Media management will actually trim the file down to only the necessary portions without any transcoding or data loss. It goes in and deletes the unnecessary data without any re-rendering. It is an absolutely amazing feature. When in doubt, 24 frame handles or about a second on either side is a good rule of thumb. Let's take a look at the final few checkboxes. First, do you want to use the project name as a subfolder? Totally up to you, doesn't super matter. The second option is, do you want to consolidate multiple edit segments into one file? Here's why this is a useful feature. Let's say that you use the same clip multiple times in your edit, right? Maybe you cut away and cut back to it a few times. This will make sure that when it's doing that lossless trim, the first time you use it, it will make sure that it keeps the entire clip up until the last time you use it. It's a good simplification step. I highly recommend you checking the box. The final option is, do you want to preserve the hierarchy of your folder levels? So this feature is primarily useful if you have multiple video files of the same name. Now, if you had a good DIT and you did a good job naming your files unique names, you really don't need this, but if you are working with more consumer cameras where you might have duplicate video titles, it can be useful to check. For the final step, hit that start button and sit back and relax while media management does its thing. When that's done, you'll find a folder with all the necessary files to hand off, as well as a DaVinci Resolve timeline file, which is called a DRT. I haven't done a bunch of these straight up tutorial style videos, so if you like it, uh, let me know down in the comments and we'll keep them coming. Also, if you want to stay up to date on future videos, like, subscribe, bell, see ya!